Hello everyone, The Amazing Digital Circus has become a cult favorite among fans of the animated series. For a long time this show has been the number one most viewed show on YouTube for the past few months. And even now, despite the worldwide hype of the GTA 6 trailer, The Digital Circus is still ahead of the curve with 200 million views in the near future. Do you understand the shock of the situation? Ordinary Indie Studio together with independent 3D animators managed to create a real precedent in the world of animated series from simple enthusiasts, not big companies. In this video, I would like to talk about it in more detail. Why did the amazing digital circus become so popular and for how long? We're going to look at the success story in great detail, so I suggest you watch this video to the end so you don't miss anything. And before the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, because there are already 20,000 of us. I am very grateful to you for such a strong support, and here we go. Despite the fact that the series is published on the YouTube channel Glitch, the main animator is Gooseworks. We're going to talk a little bit about them, because it would be wrong to neglect the creator. In short, Cooper Smith Goodwin, and this is the real name of Gooseworks, was born in 1994 and gained the first worldwide popularity thanks to the project Little Run Mo. Now we all know Gooseworks as a woman, but before Cooper Smith Goodwin was a man. And the talent of this animator is really amazing, and the fact that the amazing digital circus became so popular is not a coincidence, but a really well thought out and quality move on the part of the authors. Because for such a hype, Gooseworks and Glitch had absolutely everything. Now let's talk about the digital circus itself. The first mention of the circus dates back to January 27th, when the video A New Era appeared on the Glitch channel, where at the end we saw a rather scary scene with Kane and Pomni, and the next day on the Gooseworks channel, a teaser of our series appeared, which at that time became the most viewed video on the channel for a long time. And then there was half a year of silence, and at the end of July, the legendary video Meet the Gang appeared, in which we were introduced to all the characters of the digital circus. September 22nd can be considered a key date in the history of the popularity of the digital circus, because that's when the full trailer of the amazing digital circus was shown, which became the starting point of the popularity of this project. With the trailer alone, the previously unknown animated series received nearly 20 million views. Well, and three weeks later came the X day. The official release of the pilot episode took place on October 13th, 2023. Imagine, it's been two months since that moment, and all the actions taken by Glitch and Gooseworks showed their effectiveness, and the pilot episode became one of the most popular videos by number of views per day on YouTube. And this process was unstoppable. Within a month, the number of views increased exponentially. Even at its lowest point, the Amazing Digital Circus pilot was gaining 150,000 views per hour. But why did the Amazing Digital Circus become so successful when the Glitch team is involved in so many other projects? There is no clear answer to this question, because such a success was made possible by several factors. And the most important thing that determines the success of any show or project is its conception and further realization. The Amazing Digital Circus is really a revolutionary project, because it took our authors a lot of time and effort to combine so many different things into one concept. Let's talk a little bit about it. The Digital Circus itself is a non-existent space in the real world, but a computer game, which, judging by the secret trailer, was released for global use 20 years ago. But this game was not very popular among the masses. But it was so until the time when In Our World did not appear various VR headsets, which gave new life to the game. Everything was great until real people did not begin to enter this digital world and their consciousness was completely transferred to the digital circus, where all the main events take place. In the amazing digital circus, there are absolutely different characters. Each of them is coordinatedly different from each other. Someone is a depressed girl, someone is a bully, and someone is just a crazy king. And each of these characters represents a specific symptom inherent in a person with mental problems. According to the plot, the administrator Kane, who should not allow any problems in the inhabitants of his kingdom, but his real goal is to keep everyone trapped in the digital circus for as long as possible. Well, and the main character Pomni symbolizes the desire to achieve his goal despite the judgment and misunderstanding of others. In addition, the unresolved story of Kaufmo, who tried to be cheerful and friendly all the time, but under the pressure of condemnation and misunderstanding of society, gave up and could not resist all the darkness that is completely filled with digital circus, but unfortunately few people understand it. Or they understand it, but just resign themselves to their fate. It is important to note that the pilot episode not only showed us what an amazing digital circus is, but also left behind a huge number of mysteries, the answers to which we will learn in the next episodes, such as the void. I think a lot of people left the show wondering what this mysterious void really is. And all these mysteries just keep our interest and make us wait for the next episode. In addition, some characters are so well created that many people adopt their behavior, such as Jax, who immediately became an audience favorite and despite all his bullying and crude jokes, became an idol for many viewers. 
Maybe they see themselves in him or just want to be like him. I would also like to remind you that YouTube works like a snowball. For your understanding, the pilot episode gets good views, which means that hundreds and even thousands of fan videos with theories, analyses, various 2D and 3D animations, and much more begin to appear, and viewers who have not seen the original but have seen a video about Digital Circus on the channel of their favorite blogger, after watching his video go to the Glitch channel and watch the original pilot episode, and this process cannot be stopped. So about 20-30% of views on the amazing Digital Circus pilot appeared thanks to other channels. An important factor in this resounding success is the detail and quality with which they approached the creation of the Digital Circus. Agree that on YouTube there is a huge number of channels based on 3D animation, including the Digital Circus, but none has been able to achieve even 50% of what the original work contains. Even in the pilot episode, you won't find any serious mistakes. What to say if Gooseworks and other animators work together for about two weeks to create this scene? You can imagine how high the standards were for this project, because five seconds of the result cost a whole team of professionals two weeks of their lives. And the Kaufmo room looks great. I guess you didn't study this location as much as I did, but just try to see what was added and how cool it was done in this already legendary scene. The script, the quality of the final product, the competent promo, it's all good, but it's necessary to somehow stimulate the viewer's interest even after the official release of the pilot episode. And in this case, glitch, but more of course Gooseworks worked perfectly. A huge amount of cutscenes, various concept art showing us old versions of characters and much more was shown to us, which also brought back the interest of those who already watched the video. Well, and those people who accidentally stumbled upon the leak could be interested in this amazing digital circus. But I repeat that the main task of the leaks is to keep the interest of the viewers, because as I think, thanks to them, only 2 to 3% of the total number of views were received, and this is far from a fact. Now let's talk a little bit about the future of the amazing Digital Circus and the release date for the next episode of our Crazy Circus. Despite the fact that there was perfect preparation for the release of the pilot episode, in YouTube you can't always know exactly how popular your video or show is going to be. That's what happened with the amazing Digital Circus. I think the creators expected it to be a success, but I don't think it was that strong. That's why they only finished the pilot episode before the release and didn't even think about the sequel. Therefore, fruitful work on this great project began only after the worldwide release of the pilot episode. According to the experience of Glitch Channel and people who work in the field of creating animated series, I can safely say that next month we should not wait for the continuation, because such large-scale and elaborate projects are not finished in a day, and unfortunately, not even in a month. It takes about three to four months of hard work to make a complete episode and prepare the ground for the sequel so that the audience can see new episodes as soon as possible. It's been two months since the release, which means we still have about a month to wait. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to see the second episode sometime in January 2024, but the deadline will be February, because delays have a very negative impact on viewer interest and subsequent viewing. And I also remind you that by the end of December, we will be told some very important information about our digital circus. And that's it. I wish you success and good luck, and I'll see you in the new videos that will appear every two days.